What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Having fun, enjoying your life. Because it's good. Life is good. You were born to enjoy our life. Not to endure our life. That's why we have the, the will and the power to change things, to make things happen. There is no spiritual being, whether you call it God or your ancestors, that is coming to do that for you. But you, because you are real, you are not imaginary, you are not invisible. You are not a fairy, you are not a genie. You don't need a genie, you don't need a fairy. You need you. And when you know you, you know also there are others. You will not be jealous. Like the evil God of the Bible that is jealous of other gods. Although those who believe in such God call people like me atheists. Yeah, that same God say beside him there is no God. So that God don't believe in God. So that God is atheist. I am not atheist. I am God. And I believe in myself. And I also know. Remember what I said? I say I believe in myself. Okay? In my ability to do things. So what I do, you see it. To show you that I trust myself. Like when as I'm making this video. I'm the one doing it. Not any God. I'm not inspired by any God. Rather, I'm inspired by fact, by truth, by you. Because I know there are people that need what I have to say. They are my inspiration. Things around me, the trees, the sun, the moon. Everything about me inspires me. And I decide what to talk about, what to speak about. I don't need any divine inspiration. I decide, I made that decision as human. Human is greater than God. When you bring human, all the humans together, they become almighty. They become spring. That's why our people, the Igbo people, said, Man, mm, 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 do be easy. Mm, do be easy. That's life is spring. And the human life, is indeed spring over God, over any belief that people have. So I want to speak on these uh, issues that concerns us, that many of us are still battling with. Some people say they are awakened, but they are awakened to African belief system, which they call African spirituality. So they claim to be awakened, but they are not. They only switch places. They switch from foreign belief to domestic belief. Belief is belief. So you have to make a choice. Some of them confuse spirituality with science. They say spirituality is science or science is spirituality or that bullshit. No, it's not. Spirituality is not science. Science is not spirituality. So what is spirituality? You can define spirituality for me in your own words, so I can reason with you. Define it. I can reason with you. What is spirituality? All right. So like when you check dictionary, which I shared, uh, I shared your feet uh, earlier. It says spirituality is concerned with spirit, uh, soul, and man. Think about it. Nobody can prove there is spirit in man. Nobody can prove there is soul in man. What we mean is this. Tell me the position, the, the location of spirit or soul in man that when we go there, we find it. It can never happen. Because everything about spirit, everything about soul in a man is make-believe. So when you're talking about a man, a human being a soul, that soul being mean a person, that's different I can agree with you on that I am a living soul, not that I have a soul in me, I am a living soul, I am a living spirit, 
You see, I can, I, that is easy. This I can prove that I am a spirit. You ask me what can how, what can I do to prove it? I tell you what I can do. I can give you peace sign, African peace sign. See, I I just did it as a spirit, as a soul, as a person. I have the ability to do that. But the spirit you are talking being in you or being in anywhere cannot do anything, nothing. That's why I asked that question. What has spirituality done for Africa and Africans? Nothing. Because they just tell you, oh no, it makes you connect you to your ancestors. No. What connects us to our ancestors is the blood. Our ancestors are not strangers to us, and we are not strangers to our ancestors. We are one. We are one blood. Whatever our ancestors were, we are. But that's the evil, the evil people brought to us. They separated us from our ancestors, telling us our ancestors are evil. And um, some of our people also believe that their ancestors is somewhere in a spiritual world, watching over them, suffering and all that, or doing anything for them. No, those things are make-believe. So when you're talking about spirituality, you're talking about a belief system. It's a make-believe. People begin to talk about afterlife, where they will be, what will happen after life. No, you don't know all that. You're supposed to live in the now. You're supposed to live in the present. Because in the present, you have the past. In the present, you have the future. In the present, you have the present. Do you get that? That's why they stole that idea from us and said that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. They're talking about us. Everywhere you see they write, they put Jesus in any book, put yourself there, you begin to understand their writings. There is no Jesus outside us. There is no God outside us. We are the Jesus they are talking about. We are the God they are talking about. Anyone that is preaching Jesus Christ of Nazareth is preaching Jesus in lie, in falsehood. But when you are preaching that you are the Jesus, you are the Savior you are looking for, you, you still see some grown adults, African man, saying that Jesus is his savior. How can you say Jesus is your savior? Why you haven't seen Jesus? You only dream because they made you to believe that you believe Jesus is your savior. They give you white Jesus. They give you his, uh, the name of his mother. Although they tell you he's God, yet human being, a woman, just as you were born, a woman have to give back to him. Can't you think? You are the Jesus you are preaching. You are the Jesus Christ you are preaching or teaching. That Jesus of Nazareth does not exist anywhere. It cannot. That's why you cannot see that Jesus. You, no one has seen Jesus at any time. No one. Somebody said to me, oh, the, the people that experienced God before talk about him. I said, do you experience your parents? No. Stop talking about abstract experience. Things that people experience in their dream, in their vision, in the revelation, those things are abstract. Just as God is abstract, God is an abstract idea that needs your own belief to have life or power. Without you believing in God, there is no God. Without you believing in God, God is useless. You are the one that believes in God. That's why you can talk about God. It is man that wrote about God tell you about God, defending God. Have you seen any God defending himself? No. Even the man that wrote that said that God is looking for man to stand for him, to stand in the gap. God is looking for man to send on errand. God cannot do anything because God is man-made. In other words, God is idol. God can only move when man move God. God cannot move itself. There is no God can, that can speak for itself. There's no God can, that can do anything for itself. There's no God that can create anything. If there is any God that creates, it is man, it is human being, or even animals. Animals create. Don't you see the bird build nest? The bird is better than your God. You say people are worshipping uh, uh, bird. They are better. People that worship the bird are better than people that worship God. People that worship the tree, because tree can create, tree bear fruit. People that worship tree are better than people that worship God. So, but all this issue of worship, you don't need to worship anything. 
it is spirituality belief system that brought in this issue of uh, I worship this, uh, I don't worship the, uh, uh, I, I worship that. You don't need to worship any of that anything. No, what you need is to know. Knowledge is science. Science is knowledge. What we know is science. What we know is science. not what we believe, not what we think, not what we imagine. No, what we know and what we know we can demonstrate. You cannot demonstrate what you believe. You can only preach it. It's just words. That's why they tell you in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And you say there is God, he's a being, he has a hand. No, he said word. Your own book said that. He said God is word. The word was God. It is word that people speak. You haven't seen any God speak. It is people speaking God, speaking word, and telling you that is God. And when people were having uh, people, all these uh, tyra tyrants and uh, evil people, uh, forcing people to embrace their belief, or using it as flag, you know, if you believe what you believe, if they conquer you, you must believe what they believe. If you don't believe what they believe, they kill you. And that's what makes our ancestors different from white men. Our ancestors weren't wicked. White men were wicked and still wicked. When they, when they conquer a people, they, they strip the people, their identity, their religion, everything. Our ancestors never did that. Even when they conquered people, they still treat people as people, as themselves. What those that gave you the, those religion that tell you to treat others as you will treat yourself? Why are they your slave masters? Did they treat you as themselves? No. They are telling you that because they already you know, handicapped you. You cannot even treat yourself as you're supposed to treat yourself. You treat yourself as a slave. So that's why you see when they tell you black on black crime. Who turned black people against their, their own themselves? Who created that self-hate among black people? The people that invaded and enslaved them, the people that killed them, the people that stripped them their identity. It's a shame for you, an African, saying that African Americans are killing themselves in America. Why you won't talk against those who made them so and who make sure the system that keep them so continue? You won't talk about them. You see African man, a black man, open his mouth and saying that black people hate themselves. Say black people don't help themselves. What are you saying? How can you uh, ask somebody that have nothing to help somebody? Nothing. He has nothing to help. And you said, no, check your history. Your history should teach you better. When you have, you are helping. And that's why white men gain grand in the first place, because you are their helper. Our ancestors helped them to learn, helped them to, to know things. Our ancestors taught them science. Give them even real life to live like human beings. But they turn and tell you that those that taught them are ignorant. Telling you that those that help them are helpless, that they are their servants. You should understand, wait until you understand that you will keep living all this spiritual life that benefits you nothing. Tell me what spirituality has done for Africa as a continent. Tell me what spirituality has done for Africans as a people. Tell me. Nothing. It's all make believe. You still see them saying, Oh, God loves There is God. God loves you. There is Jesus loves you. Jesus is your savior. God is your all this chemical and all that bullshit. They keep saying that. Out of make believe, you see a grown adult with gray hair all over his head, everywhere. He's still telling there is God. There is God. I said, Why? But you are the ones talking about, uh, uh, speaking for this God, talking about this God. He said, no matter what, saying that God loves you does not change your situation. It can never. Saying that Jesus loves you cannot change your situation. But when you know what to do, which is science, knowledge, you go ahead and do it. When you know, somebody asks me what I trust money, knowledge. When you know what to do, you see the, the founder of Facebook, right? What made him overnight, like overnight millionaire like that? knowledge he, he dropped out from college right and start that his family thought he was stupid until money begin to flow and that is part of the corruption we have in the world today they monetize knowledge knowledge that all of us supposed to benefit from free of charge because each and every one of us have knowledge when you are talking about power you are talking about knowledge 
When you have no knowledge, you have no power. People with knowledge are powerful people. And powerful people do powerful things. Powerless people don't do anything because they are powerless. They're only consumers. They consume. They can't do anything. They depend on those that have knowledge. The powerful people. What have you done for us? That's what powerless people ask. What have you done for your people? That's what powerless people ask. But people with knowledge will go ahead and do their thing. People with knowledge don't need any United Nations to come and help them get anything. If you have not, that's what, when I'm talking about our people, like the Igbo people in Nigeria who are agitating for Biafra, what happened to our Igbo sense? Igbo sense is science. Igbo sense is not running your mouth and talking about God, talking about any spirit. No, Igbo is, is knowledge. Understand where you came from. You came from the, 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 the people that gave the world science, gave the world mathematics. You cannot build anything without mathematics. Guess what? You can subdue spirituality, but you cannot subdue science. No way. Because science is nature. You cannot, science is part. When you know what to do, nobody can suppress you. Today we are using Apple. I'm using iPhone. I'm using um, um, their Macs, uh, their laptop. They are using their iWatch, all that. But when that man started, even the American government was against him. They arrested him. But they found out you cannot stop a man with knowledge. Knowledge is power. You stop him even in the prison where you lock him up, he will still be making him pass. They say, let us work with this guy. They, 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 they do integration. Is it not what they also did to African, African Americans? They don't want to let them go. When Marcus Gavi wanted Africans to go back, African Americans to go back to Africa, they, 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 they have their own ship to do that. They have their own people to do that. But the American government said, no, if you let these people go, we go down. Let us give them integration, not freedom. That's how integration started. You see that? They begin to give them integration. Don't worry, you don't have to go back to Africa. Stay here, you can be this. Why they are the one making the laws? Then you stay there suffering. You talk, they kill you. So understand that spirituality is useless to you as a human being. There's nothing spirituality can do for you. Tell me one thing spirituality can do for you, nothing. It's only you saying something about spiritual thing. He said, I, I wake up the way I felt. Suddenly, my life changed. It shows there is God. It shows there is a higher power. No! If you can feel it, if you can sense it, if you can think it, if you can dream it, it's natural. Bring it into reality. Don't tell us about it. We don't need your abstract experience. We need your tangible experience so that we all can experience it. The sun is a tangible experience. Nobody can deny the existence of sun. Have you seen any people arguing about the existence of God and sun? What they argue about is make up stuff people made up in spirituality, in religion, just to confuse people and control them. Spirituality and religion is the same thing, only in definition or in practice. Spirituality is unorganized religion, unorganized make-believe. You can believe anything in spirituality, that's good, we, we cool. No fighting, no trying to make you believe what I believe, that's spirituality. Believe whatever you believe, that's spirituality. But when it comes to religion, it's organized belief system. They don't allow you to have your own belief. In religion, although they tell you, oh, you are free to have your own belief. No, they fight against themselves. If you don't believe what they believe, you will die. You will perish. You will not be in the same place with them. You get that? And some of you that will jump now saying, oh, you are attacking African spirituality. No! You have been saying this and I will keep saying that. It is better you Africans have African spirituality than have foreign religion. Because foreign religion came because your people or some of your people give in to African spirituality. That's why they penetrated. You can penetrate and defeat people with knowledge. They have to spiritualize things and begin to live by faith instead by fast. That's how you can easily confuse them and conquer them, then control them. Understand that you need knowledge not spirituality you need science not spirituality look at the chinese people look at the uh, japanese people what put them among the world powers what put them among the world powers 
science, not spirituality, not their ancestors, no. Their science, they become untouchable. American government cannot rise up and say, let's go what, uh, against Chinese people. Ch Chinese people got people. <laughs> they, got, they got science, they got people. With science, they begin to build their weapons. With science, they begin everything. They begin to use those who plan to use them. Oh, you can use me, but I can use you also. There's nothing wrong in you using me, then I'm using you. But Africans are people that are being used. They don't know how to use people that are using them. They rather worship the people that are using them. They say, yeah, they give us some food. You know, they are better than us. And they use them forever. That's what you must know. That's what you need. Science, knowledge. You don't need spirituality. Spirituality is bullshit. Yes, you heard me. Spirituality is bullshit. Spirituality can never help you at all. In any shape or form, in any way. It can never help you. Spirituality will only confuse you. And when you are confused, you will be easily convinced and when you are convinced you'll be easily converted and when you are converted you'll be easily controlled and when you are controlled you are done you are no longer human being that's why you can say you are the sheep of god that's why you can say you are the you 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 are you are you are servant of god a god you have not seen but you say you are his servant what type of useless belief is that and you, are, you, are, you, are, you think that people like me that don't accept that bullshit, you know, we are wrong. Are we going to burn in your hell? No. If you believe there is hell, may you go to that hell. If you believe there is hell, may you go to that hell. Say amen to that. It is what make believe created. Invisible world. Spiritual world. And I said, I'm in a natural world. Why are you telling me about spiritual world? Why? I mean reality. I don't need spirituality. What? Spirituality cannot do anything for me. Now I have drove, I drove myself to work. I did not pray. I did not depend on any God or anything. Now I'm going to work. I don't need any strength of God to do that. And yet you embrace the book that tells you whatever your hand find to do, do it with all your might. It has nothing to do with any God. You say, no, you are doing it for God or you are acknowledging, acknowledging God because you want to meet God at last. You say, no, for there is no wisdom, there is no device, there is no knowledge in the grave where you are going. You are not going to any heaven. You are going to the grave when you die. It's time you wake up. Spirituality cannot do anything for you, Africans. Especially, I'm not talking to white people. White people already grab it. They already grab how it goes. People with money and the weapon rules the world. Africans don't have money. Africans don't have weapons because Africans have given their, their, their resources that will have made them rich and they, give, they leave it under the control of white men that took it by force. Africa, hey, take it. Yeah, we're waiting upon the Lord. The God is coming. God, oh, I listened to somebody. He said, I think it wasn't Nan the Carlo. He said that those people that did that, they will bite the dust. They will die. You will also die. Everybody will die. You were born to die. That is not a bad thing. Wishing somebody death is stupidity. You wishing somebody to die. Wish me death. Let me die now. It is for my own good. Because death is a door that opens me to the next level in life. You continue where you stop. You keep living. You, are, you cannot die. You are an energy. You are not created by any God. That's why you need to use your mind. Your mind is the eternity that you need. In the, it is infinite. Just like the universe. It connects you to the universe. If you tell me that your mind is the spirituality, I will agree with you 100%. But telling me about spiritual world, one God, no! This is our world. This is our eternity. This is our home. This is us in this place. We must have knowledge to live. If you don't have knowledge, you will not pass any exam. 
and if you cram it to pass the exam you cannot practice it because you don't know the in and out of that subject you will not make it it is time you embrace science africans it is time you trust spirituality trust religion fuck god fuck jesus fuck spirituality fuck everything that have to do with spiritual world it is time we live in real world this is our world let us live in it let us do what we need to do to free ourselves and live as a people again peace